I think I can say that high school changed me for the better um, in many different ways. Like what? Like, um, I think definitely um, I've matured. Yeah. A lot. I would say as well. If you haven't matured from middle school to high school, that's like a. Yeah. You should. <laughs> you, yeah, should you should go should fix yourself. yourself. Unless you're a really mature middle schooler, which I doubt. I haven't met a like middle schooler who's. What have you learned, Sinead? Me? Yeah. High school has taught me a lot. I would say, aside from the academics, like aside from pure academics, I think like critical thinking, but this is also a product of our like international school student upbringing. Definitely. Shout out to the Ivy, actually. Everyone, everyone like, <clears throat> can we swear? Okay, <laughs> I don't want everyone shits on the IV for saying like for doing this, but like I think it truly did develop our critical thinking. Yeah, like IV, um, although it was a lot of stress, looking back, I think it was good stress because like it, it is stuff that you grow from. Like I remember, especially in the first semester, year thirteen, we had like deadlines after deadline. That's and then, actually yeah, like while we have deadlines, we still have class, like we still have content to like keep learning because it was like like the end of our content first semester of thirteen, and it was really tough but like and like um sometimes i didn't do things to the standard which i wish i did but looking back um yeah i've definitely have grown a lot yeah i find that like my like now that i'm in uni um like my ability to study well has increased but like i still procrastinate the same <laughs> like i get things done on time of course but um, and I think procrastination yeah. is like okay as long as you do it like to a healthy extent cause like I had friends in high school who would procrastinate until it was like <laughs> they're gonna watch this <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are <laughs> um, if we had like an assignment due at like 8am the next morning they would like watch YouTube until 3am okay, and then they were like is wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's time to start so then they would. <laughs> okay, okay, definitely. I, I do not advise um, uh, chemically changing the body, um, you know, to increase Drinking your Drinking caffeine. Like, caffeine works, but try not to. What? Yeah, don't yeah. get a, don't get dependent on caffeine. Please, but please caffeine don't. is great when you need it. It is. I would say use it when you need it. I think the biggest thing is that, like, it feels like everything in life in high school would be permanent. And like the things that happen to you will be the death of you. And like, why are you laughing? No. <laughs> the things that happen are like the worst things in the world and that like you'll never get past them. But, yeah, but time heals everything. And almost. just just um Yeah, you actually told me this. Like, um, if you look in like if you look back at all this after like ten years or twenty years, it really won't feel like too much. So some like That was like my rule of thumb. Yeah, and although, like, it's not, of course, it's not helpful for you to, like, keep thinking that, oh, like, oh, whatever I do now doesn't matter. That's not the case, but it's just um, a good, mm, it's like a good perspective of things when you really feel like everything's, like, you know, unbearable or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, if you, like, encounter a problem and you think to yourself, like, in 10 years' time, will I look back on this and, like, really still care? Feel the same. Yeah. It's probably not like too big of a deal whether it comes to like schoolwork or like friendships or relationships or like drama. 100%. Yeah, things on us, then they're not as big of a deal as you think. Looking back, like I'm glad I did. There's been like some of my best memories from high school were on like those um, sports trips. Like choir high school, trips. yeah, high school is about yeah. making memories as well. Um, which again sounds like so cliche, but that cliche for a reason, mm, like, mm, mm. like that cliche because it actually is good to just, because I feel like a lot of my mentality coming into high school is all about like, oh, high school is pretty much like, I just need to get this score to basically get this and get this. But then as I started to join more clubs and like join sport and things like that, which I never like to consider kind of when I first moved to Shanghai, like, um, I definitely, I made so many friends with people that like, if I hadn't had joined that thing, if I had like walked past them in the hallways, 
I either wouldn't have cared or like I wouldn't have wanted to be their friend. Yeah. But like <laughs> Um Platonic relationships like you you need them. I think high school is like No shit. Some people are like, I don't need friends. Look, okay, platonic. Don't become what? a simp. That's my advice. Damn, when did this many birthday parties. <laughs> <laughs> my parents are downstairs. Please stop. <laughs> I was not like that. Relationships actually. aside, like like romantic relationships aside. Platonic relationships are really important in high school because like I was saying before everything that comes at you at least this was my experience and you can like feel free to disagree but like a lot of things that came at me felt like they were going to last forever and like you need support networks to like be there for you um also th- this sounds like kind of strange but like making friends with like the um upperclassmen and like friends that are older than you or friends that are even like in college already and um for them to like be able to give you advice when they were going through it because they've been through it and they've been through mm-hmm. these things um so like yeah that's it, it gives you a perspective on things yeah and a lot of the times like like just like you said some things like when you're um within that time it feels very permanent but it isn't yeah um I don't want to keep saying wise things and it's so cliche but the thing is like these things are true like yeah. like the fact that there is a lesson in every experience that is true it is. like if you think I'm being cliche then you're just immature because it is true 100% yeah. you agree I agree exactly I agree. that's kind of cliche though but okay that's, okay that's okay, kinda... okay but, ex- <laughs> but exactly like like I thought it was cliche and like I didn't really understand until I really went through it myself and yeah. It is true. And if you don't learn from your experiences, well, yeah, you're wasting your own time. So Exactly. Wait, that sounds like it has a story behind it. Do you want to Yeah, elaborate? do you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> Tell um, us. About- uh, I went into high school um being pretty naive and immature, and my view on relationships was I I would just say wrong. <laughs> looking, wrong looking in back, what sense? Wrong in the sense that um wrong in the sense that like kind of in the way that I was so naive that I thought you know things would be just I only saw the good side I only saw that you know if I was if I was if I how do I say this um um like getting into a relationship would only be for like the good things no it's like like yeah like i guess like i for me i thought being in a relationship all it meant was like oh the other person was your world and that you had to you know like all you had to do was just to make them happy and then they would make you happy and that would be the end of it but um that's not exactly how things work and um yeah i don't want to go too into detail but i guess um some of the like yeah like one of the most important lessons i've learned through um these type of things is self love and self respect because Amen. because because <laughs> um if you don't respect and love yourself others will not respect and love you cliche but but true because like imagine you not having any self worth like that would only tell the other person that It's I mean, okay to like You don't even you don't even yeah, you don't you like shit. <laughs> um what I want to get through here is like um like um relationship is about like it really you can back me up here right? mm-hmm. that relationship is about like balance and um in a way you have to care about what you want from the relationship and um it can't just be one sided because um yeah like like putting yourself not necessarily first not necessarily above the other person but like not caring above. about yourself will actually cause you to care more about the other person and make the relationship work better as well because you're not constantly like 
um, like, oh my gosh, like, I hope the other person is happy. Like, uh, it's all about the other person. Yeah, but are you happy? Oh my gosh, wait, that's that's the one thing that I've learned from high school. <laughs> the importance of communication. Yes, yes. Like, in any kind of, like, relationship. Yeah, speak be, about your feelings. Yeah, like, platonic, romantic, like, anything. Like, you, no one, you should not expect everyone to just know what you're feeling and then get salty because people don't guess that. Yeah. Um, so, like, and oftentimes communicating your feelings sounds scary, but it's really not as bad as it seems it's like, mature like like as in the other person won't take it as bad as you think especially yeah, yeah, if you yeah, develop yeah. the skills right now in high school to be able to communicate that like effectively um because if you don't learn that then you get into university and like there will be huge problems for you yeah definitely yeah <laughs> okay but just if you're in a relationship never feel like you're begging for somebody's love Yes, never. You, especially in high school because it's kind of yeah. pathetic. Like you should never feel that way. Just know that if you're in a relationship, um, they are worthy of you making them happy just as much as you are worthy of them making you happy. Yeah. Also, stop chasing people that don't want you. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, this is my personal opinion, and I'm sure there have been stories where like this does not apply, but in the like. Why would you want to be with someone who doesn't actually want to be with you? Yeah. Like, why are you spending so much time? So for the simp out there who's watching this, like... Just move on. <laughs> but high school is all about learning those mistakes and like learning them in a kind of safer environment where like the consequences of it are not as big as it would be like in university or later in life. Yeah. yeah. Best moment in high school. Do you want to go first or? I have like a few. I yeah, would say like I, the I best, the well. best like experience that I had in high school. Um, as a grade would be like, uh, when we went to Malaysia. Oh, make the most out of your school trips, cause like you'll miss them, um, cause you don't get them in the same, like capacity, um, later in life and in university and things like that, um. So like make the most of it, like make memories, document memories. Um, yeah, would you agree? Definitely. And enjoy that summer after high school. Oh yeah. So very I'm still in that summer bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll, it's uh um just you form a lot of great memories. Just remember to enjoy. And spend you time with your friends before you guys all go off to college, like different colleges. Especially if you're in, in like an international school, you yeah. guys are gonna be going off to like everywhere all around the world. The world. Um, so like, make sure to spend time and make memories. Like, do different things with your friends. Like we, so our huge group of friends decided to rent an Airbnb that was like way across the other <laughs> side of the city. But that was so fun. It was so fun, and like. It, it, it can just be as simple as that, like just doing different things with your friends and like taking pictures and, and doing stuff. Take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. That's, don't, that's don't, please don't think you're too cool for it. Like, yeah. you only regret not taking them when you're slightly older. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't think you're too cool for stuff. Cause like you'll only look yeah. back and be like, that was so cringe. Like I, I admit when I was like in year 10, year 11, I used to think taking pictures was stupid. Like I'm like, yo, why do we, where, where do we need to just enjoy ourselves a little but like now looking back like i wish i took more i wish i had i had more you know evidence just to look back on and yeah. laugh at you know especially because i moved countries halfway through um i moved countries halfway through my high school so i spent like ninth or not halfway i was in three countries so i spent ninth and a bit of 10th grade in london and then basically my 10th 11th and the beginning of my 11th in Australia and then I moved to Shanghai and I restarted 11th and 12th grade. So like, looking back, I wish I took more pictures, especially in the countries that I moved from. Mm -hmm. Because, um, like you said, like I just didn't, like I didn't want to take pictures because I thought it was like embarrassing and cringe and I didn't like the way that I looked in them. Yeah. But like, and, and also sometimes you feel really awkward to like yeah. tell your friends to take like, pictures. Guys, you don't want to be like that picture? guy. But honestly, like I wish I was that guy more. Yeah. I don't think I was ever that guy. But looking back, um, I'm glad 
you know my friend to take some pictures and yeah same um i i, I came to another city to to um to do high school and yeah i don't have too many pictures of middle school in comparison and yeah i miss it but some of the dark, worst moments that i ever had like i don't want to say it's a moment because it's not even a moment it's like a period of time oh that just made it worse but um thing is right like i said before with regard to like relationships and all um i was very naive and so um basically there was this period of time where um like so there was this person and i and i um uh long story short i tried to be everything i thought she would want me to be but he or she he or she <laughs> but um yeah but that feeling when no matter what you do is never enough was very very detrimental yeah just looking back just just remember that um you know just remember that uh a reciprocity there you go reciprocity is very important and um just age on seven six uh, <laughs> you should you should never feel that you should never feel that you're not good enough for anybody whether that be in academics like don't be too proud that's my big thing See, do not let your pride get in the pride. way of like anything ev- a- anything, anything anything because it's that pride. will just make you look it will it'll, it'll hurt you and it'll make you look worse to other people as well so like if you're struggling on a concept ask just your teacher ask. for help or ask your friends for help like yeah. like don't don't feel like you look you dumb. will feel so much better if you understand content um and like you've you've admitted that you need help versus like you try and do it yourself and like you come out with yeah. bad or worse Actually, answers. Would you say this is the biggest lesson you learned that like to to just to be able to put down your pride and to admit to things and to yeah. you open up about things where you felt like you didn't need to, but actually it's only beneficial that you know you actually open up. But I think um, just um, like to be able to put down your pride and admit things is actually a very mature thing to do a good way to like a good reason to do that is just remember that high school is high school and you can do a lot of the things like many of the things that you do don't actually have big consequences in your life um i mean some do and it's important to <laughs> yeah, recognize yeah. when the things will have big consequences if you do them <laughs> don't take drugs, drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was like wait a second yeah. don't take yeah. drugs. that's not what i'm talking about but like being like taking like a bit of risk and communicating even when you feel scared to do something or like whether it be you know like shooting a shot or asking for help or putting your pride down um it's high school like you're you're barely gonna remember these things when you're like 30 like someone's gonna mention it and you'll be like oh oh yeah i did do that didn't i yeah, like and it wasn't once so hard after all yeah so like just do it yeah, we are endorsed by nike no <laughs> we're, we're not we're not <laughs> <laughs> we're even working. i'm not working nike if you're out there sponsor yeah please, please sponsor michael <laughs>